Hey guys, before I kick off the vlog, I wanted to ask you to do me a favor, do two things, and it would really, really help me out. Give me a thumbs up on the video, I would super appreciate it, and also, if you haven't, go check out my bug out bag that I'm giving away, bug out bag slash emergency preparedness kit. I'm going to send you the innards of the bag and you can put it in your own backpack and you can use it however you'd like to use it. So, go check that out because I'm giving it away, I'm going to post the video on Friday. So you got a couple days here to make it uh, onto the uh, onto the giveaway. So make sure you do that. Okay, thanks a lot. So a bit of a weird thing happened today. Got a instant message from somebody at work saying they want me to attend a town hall meeting, and I asked why and they said they want to honor me for preventing a bike theft that happened. I, uh, I took a bunch of pictures of a guy who had bike bolt cutters and one is going around cutting locks at work and taking bikes. Uh, the problem is I am uh, I'm wearing my lab clothes, I'm wearing jeans, so now I've got to go find a gap or something like that and uh, get a replacement a pair of slacks or something. I guess I have time for a detour. Not even, not even logical. $119 for a uh, Delica Wave. I think I paid $75 for mine. This is the right spot. So yeah, I got to go up on stage briefly and get thanked for my attempt at foiling a bike theft. <laughs> yeah, I'll explain the story. I um, I was walking between buildings at the place I work. And in front of the cafeteria building, there was this guy, and he was wearing rolled up sweatpants and a, and a white t-shirt, kind of grubby looking. And he's walking around this large company that is an aerospace company. And he's, he's kind of doing these laps around this fenced in area to kind of like, Look like he's he's got something he's doing there like like look he, he looked he he Walked around as though he intended to look like he was important and doing something and as I got closer to him As he had made a couple more passes around this fenced in area. I realized he had the a, a bolt cutters bolt cutters kind of held in the crook of his arm up against his body and so my red flags went off big time so I I walked up to the guy because I, I walked past him turned around and he was he was working He was working with those bolt cutters on a bike lock and I turned around and I walked back up to him and I said hey, buddy uh, Is that your bike and he goes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like forgot my key forgot my key just trying to unlock my bike and It was at that time that you know I put two and two together and I realized it was a combination lock he was cutting There was no key. There's no key for a combination lock so I said, okay, and I snapped a couple of pictures and I uh, immediately went inside the cafeteria building and knew there was a security office there and I told them, hey guys, there's a uh, there's a dude that's, looks like he's uh, he's breaking, you know, taking a bike. And they ran out there and I, I, I don't think they caught him. Um, I think they might've saw him, whatever, but what happened a day later, the police called me. The Redondo, the Redondo Beach Police called me and they had me fill out a report. So I don't know. I don't know what happened. But anyway, I guess it made rounds with some of the management and they had me come up on stage and said thanks for being vigilant. I obviously wasn't going to fight the guy or get into an altercation because I probably would have gotten fired. Uh, nobody wants to get sued, <laughs> you know? Uh, large companies hate getting sued. So. Glad, uh, glad it didn't come to that. Look at how slammed this car is. The guy must go through tires so fast. That's crazy. So one of the issues I had with the BioLite stove is that it's top, the part where you, the heat comes out. It didn't come with the little wire basket to, uh, to put non-standard kettles on it. So it made balancing kind of difficult for my, uh, my brew kettle. So that led me to order this guy. This thing is huge. I had no idea it was so big. 
I had no idea this thing was this big. My God. So this brew kettle apparently is for everyone and their mothers. <laughs> And what makes it special is it's got this dished bottom that Matt mates up with the uh, with the stove. Let's try it out. So something like that, so you can brew in it or cook and it stays on top. Okay, there's a cup down here. Some instructionados. So anyway, cup goes in the bottom. Pulls the stove back down. Stove goes into the cup. Cup lid goes on there. And this is the new bag for the stove. It's huge and it's heavy, but it's perfect for my car bag. Daddy. Yes. And there's a my, no, no, don't touch that. These are the fire starters that I keep with it. Just in case. Might as well throw these directions back in here too and I know how to use it. Well, in my, looks like. Yep, got something going on. We'll leave that alone. Well, the results are in. We didn't win the lottery. Oh well. <laughs> Only 29 million to one. Combination question of the day and WTF Thursday. What do you think of this Trisha Farrell out of San Diego who went up to the house during Halloween and stole 50 some full size candy bars. Stole is I think the right usage of the word in this case. The owners of the house put up a sign that said help yourself but be considerate and Farrell went in and with her I guess another kid uh, they took 50 something candy bars and the the roommates the people who own slash rent the house they put up a security camera to, to watch to see what would happen if they did this thing, left it out and said, be considerate. And uh, they thought it would be an interesting social experiment. Turns out it was. And the video has since gone super viral. And Farrell uh, doubling down, which is always my favorite internet trait, right? People people don't really double down on you in, in person. It's only on the internet that you can almost guarantee that they're going to double down on you. And she did. She replied uh, to all the backlash on Facebook, I love my haters, dot, dot, dot. Keep doing what you're doing, and I'm a, I am, M, A, keep doing me. <laughs> it's classic. So what do you think? Uh, post in the comments, give me a hashtag, question of the day, and let me know. All right, guys, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow.